Oi, fellow comrades, this is Squid Tard here, back with another episode of the Squid Tard Podcast. We're up to episode 5, and this is another college football episode of the Squid Tard Podcast. And uh, since we're getting so close to the college football season, I believe we're only two weeks away from the kickoff of the Florida-Miami game, which is the first big game of the college football season, and the real start of college football of 2019 and uh one of the big questions of course going into this season is a big question into going into every season which is who is winning the college or who is getting into the college football playoffs winning the playoff we'll discuss that later but who is getting into the college football playoffs this year there's a lot of speculations on this team being better than this team and uh, I'll point out the playoff sleepers uh, in another podcast, but right now we're going to point out the most obvious picks for the college football playoff. And with me today, I have two people here. Of course, he, uh, he's he been on one podcast before. You guys may know him. The Almighty Squid Lord is here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hola. Yes. And another person with us here today is a first-time podcast uh for uh, first time being on the podcast, and uh, he goes by David. He's an LSU fan. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, David. What's up, everybody? Yeah, what's up? Okay, so anyway, um, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So um, we're going to start off by talking about the most obvious picks for uh, the college football playoff, just about which teams might will probably – get in and which teams uh will actually get in and uh, i'm just going to talk about first which teams i think have a serious chance of getting into the college football playoff and uh i have to start off with of course alabama and clemson these two these two teams have been in the last uh four playoffs i believe and alabama has been in all playoffs ever since the college football playoffs have existed so they're not going anywhere anytime soon, I imagine, and the same goes with Clemson. I I think both of them have a serious chance to go 12 and 0 this season. Pretty easy schedules for them. Uh, Alabama not so much, but Alabama is, is just such a talented team. This so I really don't think it matters that much. They do have a couple of com- uh they do have some competition here and there going into uh their regular season including of course uh, Texas A&M and uh, some other teams, and there could be some uh, sleepers. Of course, they have to play South Carolina, and uh, they have to play some uh, other teams too. You never know what will happen with Alabama, and uh, whoever, who even knows, Auburn could pull off an upset at the end of the season. But going off of my predictions, which is twelve and zero, I think that Alabama is most likely making it into the playoffs. And as for Clemson, Clemson's got a seriously like super easy schedule going into this season. They don't play really anybody really uh, like a really good team so I think they have a very serious shot of making the playoffs as well and some other teams that I think are going to make it in or not or that have a serious chance of making it in we have to start with uh, Georgia Georgia is one of the most talented teams in America and it's been that way for about two years now and I don't think that's going to change there's a lot of there is a lot of talent in this team and there's a lot of uh there's, there's still a lot of questions about them regarding uh, leadership and uh, regarding a, a couple of other things, uh, key positions on their team and uh, some freshmen on their team. Uh, and of course, uh, most of their wide receivers have gone to the NFL, so it'll be interesting to see what they'll do with that. And their schedule is pretty difficult, too. They still got to play some really hard teams on, on that uh, on that schedule of theirs. But I think it's very possible that if they go 12 and 0 or 11 and 1 and somehow win the SEC championship that they will make it into the tar- or into the play- I almost said Tardarian playoffs we'll talk about that later but um other than those 3 you have other teams that of course Michigan and Ohio State you have to put on that list because these two have been back and forth with uh they've been a really they both been really really good teams going into every single season and it most likely ends with uh that game at the very end ohio state versus michigan and that could very well determine who will make it into the playoffs uh going into this season 
And uh, I've I haven't left anybody out, have I? Oh, of course, Oklahoma. Uh, of course, they've been leading over the Big Twelve for a while now, and it's not going to change anytime soon. They got Jalen Hurts on that team, and uh, I'm really interested to see what he can do going into the season. Of course, Oklahoma has t- has had two Heisman quarterbacks including Baker Mayfield and Kylo Murray and who knows Jalen Hurts could end up that very uh in the very same path but those are the teams I think have a serious shot of uh making the playoffs uh we'll go to Squid Lord now to go ahead and take his uh predictions about who he thinks are some really uh big who ha- teams that have really big shots of making the playoffs so go ahead you have the floor Squid Lord so really I think it's going to be a lot more similar, or like, like it's going to be pretty obvious about some of these picks. Um, I think Clemson ends up being the first, like number one. And I think honestly, Clemson probably stays number one throughout the whole season uh, in the bowl because I mean the only the two only two other teams that could really challenge Clemson are Virginia and Syracuse. Uh, there's a chance that Syracuse could pull uh, could do something because I mean Syracuse has kept it close with Clemson past couple years they've played and even beaten them um in virginia i just don't think virginia is at that point yet but i mean they could they could give clemson a little bit of a challenge i'm assuming if they even play them um so i think clemson definitely gets in there uh i mean you also look at florida state and miami uh they're still on the way up they're still building i mean i think miami's farther than florida state probably um but i think both are pretty um both are still rebuilding. So I think Clemson obviously gets in there. Um, there's a very likely scenario that we see two SEC teams in this playoff because assuming maybe that Alabama or Georgia go 12-0 and in the regular season, and then either one of them – or if either one of them go – if both of them go 12-0 and or one of them goes 11-1 and and the other 12-0, and um, and if that 11-1 and Georgia or Alabama beats – a 12 and 0 Georgia and Alabama. Then I think both of those teams get in the playoffs pretty fairly. Uh, same goes with like if they're both 12 and 0, and you know I think they both get into them. Uh, I mean I I think they both get into the playoffs um, because that's a very that's a very likely scenario. I mean Alabama, the only teams they really play Texas A and M. Uh, I think Texas A and M is probably the the third best team in the West. Um. Obviously, Alabama still got to play LSU. Um, in a while, but I do think LSU is a really talented team. Uh, I think, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not very confident in LSU beating Alabama, but there's, there's always a chance. Uh, I mean, you look at what LSU did last year; they held out a very good Alabama offense to only, like, what, twenty nine points. So, I think. I think LSU has a chance, but I don't – I just – I don't know. I, I just don't feel sure picking them. So, I think I, – I think that Alabama probably wins the West. Georgia, um, they're going to win the East because the only really other challenger in the East uh, is Florida. And as much as I hate saying this as a Florida fan, we're not at Georgia's level yet. Um, I think we're pretty close, but I don't think we're at that level yet. Uh, Tennessee, you know, they could make a little bit of a jump this year. Um, Missouri, I think they'll probably finish third. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a real possibility that we see two SEC teams in this playoff. Um, and then, I mean, Oklahoma obviously is a big contender for the playoffs. I don't think they get in this year. Uh, I think Oklahoma's probably going to win the Big 12. Uh, I mean – the only other contender in the Big 12 is really Texas. Uh, and I'm sorry, but Texas is not getting into the playoffs. Uh, sorry, Texas Savage, but they're not. Uh, they're, they're not bad. Texas is getting anywhere close to playoffs. Uh, so I think Oklahoma probably wins the Big 12. Uh, I think Jalen Hurts will do pretty good in Oklahoma. And I think – Michigan would probably be my pick to make the playoff as well because as long as Michigan doesn't do the the Michigan thing and just piss away their final games uh and they assuming they pro- they beat 
Ohio State and win the Big uh, the Big Ten. Even if they have a loss, I think they still get in. Uh, so I my picks would be Clemson, Alabama, Georgia, and um, Michigan in no particular order. The only one I'm really sure about is Clemson, probably staying at number one. And uh, that's that's about it for me. So oh, that's that's, that's my pick. Yeah, I completely agree with that. You you cut out a little bit there as you were talking about uh, teams like LSU and Texas. What I'll say about what I'll say about that is um, LSU. I think they have a uh, I think they have a really serious shot of uh, making the playoffs this year. But I think of them as more of a playoff sleeper because they went nine and three last year. Yeah. Of course, every everybody thought they were gonna go like. Some people even thought that they weren't going to go to a bowl game in 20, uh, 2018. So uh, that, that's not a knock on LSU to go. That's a nice wash, man. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, but some people thought that, uh, yeah, they weren't going to go. Uh, they weren't going to do any good, but, of course, they came out and uh, did a lot better than some people expected them to do. And they went 9-3. and three. Of course, that lost to A&M. But the question I'm about is if – are they going to be able to not just like not beat Alabama, but actually compete with them? Because I think what really separated LSU from the playoffs last year was the fact of just their poor, poor performance against Alabama. Getting shut out against Alabama like that. I mean, losing to Alabama, it's most people expect you to so that's it's not really that bad to lose to alabama but getting shut out the way lsu did absolutely embarrassing for them so i expect for them to come out and play a much better game if they want to have a shot at the playoffs and as for texas i agree with you that they're not back uh they're well i mean they're, they're sort of but like um what they're on about is the fact that they beat georgia in a in a bowl game but I'm not really sure that Georgia was there mentally, so it's not like it really matters that much. An unmotivated Georgia team? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean... Sorry, and also, yeah, and Texas yeah. has got to play LSU this season, so we'll, we'll really figure out who's the better of those two going into the season. And if Texas somehow pulls off a win against LSU, then I might, I'll be wrong. I'll, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. But I my thoughts are... Texas is not a playoff team. And uh, with that out of the way, uh, David, do you have anything else to add on to this? Any other teams? Any other thoughts of yours? Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Your, your mic keeps cutting out. So like, I'm just going to go ahead and take the floor right now. Uh, I agree with Squid Lord about Michigan. I feel like they might beat the uh, – I feel like they might make the playoffs because there's always a day where like a streak may end. You know, you have Florida like getting a uh, getting beat by Tucky, like a streak that's been around for like thirty years. Um, I feel like they have like a really good chance to make the playoffs. So their schedule is easy. Michigan, like in Ohio State, might be like the only two teams that are even worth a damn. Same with Clemson in the uh, the ACC. Uh, they're like the only really good team in there, so uh, their schedule is kind of easy. Alabama and uh in Georgia, I feel like they have a good chance. So like, I feel like we kind of think the same about like most of that. I don't know about the playoff sleepers. All right, well, yeah, that's that, that's some uh, that's some pretty good thoughts there, and uh, you might want to mute your mic because. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He he's got a potato mic, but at least he's able. At least he's able to join us for a podcast. Uh, I got it from Dollar General. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly why. That is exactly why. But now with all all of our thoughts on on, on possible playoff teams out of the way, let's let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and make my final predictions on who's going to be in this year's playoffs. And uh, I've thought about it a lot on who's really going to make it in. And I've, I've figured it out, basically. So um, as for me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and start off here by saying uh, the four teams that will make it to the playoffs, of course, I have to start off with 
Alabama and Clemson. I mean, they've been in the playoffs every single year, again, for the past four years, and I expect that to uh, play out the same way it did. I talked about how easy uh, their schedule is set up to be, and I expect for them to both go possibly 12-0, and or at least 11-1. and but 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 they've really, I mean, both of them went twelve and zero last year, I think. So I mean, I expect for them to do the same this year. As for the other two spots, I have to give number three to Oklahoma. I think I am a believer in Jalen Hurts. I think that he's going to do a lot there in the Big Twelve, and I think that he's going to score a lot of points on those weak defenses and teams with actual defenses are not going to be able to score enough to compete with Oklahoma. But it, I'll say this, though. I think Oklahoma's defense gets a little better. I think their defense actually improves from what it was last year. I mean, being being ranked in the top, not even the top 100 in defenses, that's really embarrassing, especially if you're on the Power 5. Like, as for, for a Power 5 team, that's pretty embarrassing. But Oklahoma's mm-hmm. wanting to go to the playoffs and above... So they're gonna have to get that defensive problem fixed, and I think they're gonna. I think they'll fix that up at least enough to win a lot of their games. And as for the number four spot, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's not going to be Georgia. And why I think that is because first of all, I I'm one of those people that doesn't expect uh, Georgia to finish the season 12 and 0, and. Uh, that's not a knock on Georgia at all. I think they have a serious shot to go 12-0. and But again, winning all of your games, as we saw last year for Georgia, I mean, that's really difficult, even with all of the talent that you have. And um, I think that there, there could be a team that could pull off an upset, especially with the schedule like Georgia's where you're playing SEC teams like Florida, Auburn, uh, Texas A&M and other teams like that and who knows some random team could come out of the blue and pull off a a miracle win against georgia i mean the same goes for wait what'd you say you didn't hear that yeah i didn't because i don't know what you said dollar general mike yeah uh as i was as i was saying before though um, I think Georgia has a serious shot to go 12 and 0, but I just don't see it this year. But again, 11 and 1 is good enough to make the playoffs if you win the SEC championship. And I know what a lot of you are about to say: uh, Georgia's got a serious shot to beat Alabama, and you know it. I I completely agree with you on that. But it's not about who's the more talented team, because in my opinion, I think Georgia has got more talent on their team than Alabama. So it's not about talent. It's about coaching. And anybody in the world who says that their coach is better than Nick Saban has, is either football ignorant or they're football ignorant. I mean, Nick Saban is probably the best coach in all of college football history. And he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And while, as, as, while he's there, I don't expect for uh georgia to win that game i'm I'm sorry i mean and again that's not a knock on georgia i think uh i think that kirby smart's a really good coach i think uh, what he's done there at georgia is absolutely phenomenal but again kirby smart as a coach is not on the level of alabama right now and while nick saban's there i'm pretty sure uh that they're that they're going to beat georgia but again we saw it. We saw it two years in a row. Uh, Alabama's quarterback went down, and uh, Georgia pretty much owned most of the game. So it's very possible that they could get a win. But in in my uh, in my predictions, I don't think Georgia will win that game. So no, I don't think Georgia will go to the playoffs. So who gets the number four spot then? I I have to give it to I I got to give it to Michigan here. And uh, the reason why I'm giving it to Michigan, Michigan's got a really easy schedule in the Big Ten going into this season. And uh, the big question is, who are they going to lose to? Of course, if they lose to Ohio State, that probably means they're going to lose their division, which means that they won't make it into the college football playoff. What I'm thinking about that is, 
I'm thinking that they're going to lose a game, but it won't be to Ohio State. I think they'll finally get that win against Ohio State um, going into this season. There's a lot of questions about uh, Justin Fields, whether or not he's going to be a really good quarterback and if he's going to be able to escape pressure, if he's going to be able to do all of this and that, and yin-yang, all, all, all of that stuff. And um, I don't... I think he's going to be a pretty good uh, quarterback going into the season, but I don't expect for him to be the best. And I think Shea Patterson, and uh, for for his uh, for his senior year, is going to be able to go into this season and beat Ohio State. I think Michigan is going to pick up a loss in the middle of the season, probably at Penn State, in my opinion. But I still think that they'll beat Ohio State. And when they do that, they'll probably be in the championship game or the uh, yeah the Big Ten championship game. Win that, and you're in the playoffs. And that and I think they will. So I think I think Michigan is going to get a spot in the college football playoffs. And yep that that's my uh, that's my college football playoff predictions: Alabama, Clemson, Oklahoma, Michigan. Those are my thoughts. Uh, Squid Lord, we'll go to you next. Go ahead and tell us your thoughts on who is taking the four spots in the college football playoff. Okay, so um, some of them, in my opinion, might be a little unpopular, and that's fine. It's college football. Everybody has a popular opinion. Um, even though I really don't think these are very much, these migrations aren't that unpopular. Um, I think Clemson stays at the number one spot for the whole year. I just don't, I don't see a possibility that Clemson drops a game. I think they end season 12. I think they end the regular season 12 now, win the ACC championship because they're playing such a weak conference. Um, I think Trevor Lawrence is going to have a really good year in his sophomore year. Um, he, he, I mean, I, I even believe he's probably going to win Eisman. I know very popular. It's a very popular opinion, but uh, I think he has a really good shot to win Eisman. So I think Clemson gets up in the one spot. Number two... I think, I think Georgia, Georgia gets it, and here you are, because, because I, think I think Georgia, Georgia yes, I think they do get a loss, because I just, I don't know, I just can't, I can't trust Georgia to the 12 and 0 just yet, uh, maybe a few years, maybe, uh, but I think they drop, they have one loss, and they end up in the second spot, because I think they win the SEC, and uh, I think they beat Alabama finally in the SEC championship. So I think they go. I think they go eleven to one in the regular season, win the SEC championship, get the second spot in the playoffs. Um, and then the third spot. Jeez. Ah, um, I think the third spot. I think the third spot will go to Michigan. Um, because I see. I don't. I think Oklahoma is going to be. I think Oklahoma. It's no surprise to say that Oklahoma is going to have a really good offense. It's obvious. They're going to have a really good offense. Their defense might be a little bit improved, uh, but even if it improves by 50 spots, that's in like the 60s, the 60s or 70s. That's still really bad for a Power 5 team. So I think that Oklahoma does get left out, unfortunately, uh, because I think Michigan, they might, I think Michigan's probably going to drop a game. I don't think it's going to be to Ohio State. I think they beat Ohio State finally, get that monkey off their back. I think they win the Big Ten. Um, their lo- Michigan's loss will probably either be to maybe Wisconsin no- or maybe Notre Dame. I think those are probably – I think they go – I think – group in those little two games. Um, and then the fourth spot, I give to Alabama. I think that Alabama gets the fourth spot. I think Alabama goes into the SEC championship undefeated. And then I think they drop the SEC championship. Um, I think they lose a very close game to Georgia. Um, and then they get that fourth spot. Um, and that's, yeah, I, I think those are, so my official predictions is Clemson wins. Clemson goes undefeated, wins the ACC, gets the number one spot. Georgia drops a game, win the SEC, they get second. Michigan uh, drops one game, uh, wins the Big Ten and go, gets in the third spot. Then Alabama loses a close SEC championship game and gets the fourth spot over Oklahoma. 
Yeah, those are some really good predictions there. And uh, while you were talking, you did you you did cut out a little bit, but most I I, I understand pretty much everything that you said. And uh, regarding regarding Oklahoma, I do agree with you on that. And if they don't get that defensive situation fixed, they're in a lot of trouble this season. I, I just I just think a one loss Oklahoma. I just I just don't uh, think I, I don't think the, don't think the committee would put uh Oklahoma in over Alabama. I just don't think that happened. I agree. And uh David, David? uh you can go oh, ahead shoot. and go. Who do you think who do you think is getting into the uh the, the playoffs? Who are your who are your top picks? Your top 4. Um Alabama, Clemson, Michigan, Georgia, pretty much everything Squidward just said. But here's an interesting scenario. What if in the playoffs we have like a rematch of uh, Alabama versus Georgia in the uh, in the national championship? See, like another okay. backup quarterback comes in and beats Georgia. That would be pretty funny. See, ain't going to lie. That's a pretty funny scenario, but I don't think the committee would, would, pit, would pit Alabama and Georgia up against each other right after they played. I just don't think that happened. Well, no, no, I'm talking about the national championship. Oh, like, and nobody comes in and just beats them again. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Well, yeah, the funny thing about that is, is Squidlord said that uh, Georgia was going to be uh, two and Alabama was going to be four. Most like, yeah, that that means they're on opposite sides of the playoffs. So if they win both of their games, they're they're playing in the national championship. So that, yeah, that's a really interesting scenario you got there, and. Like, uh, like Michigan versus uh, Georgia and uh, Oklahoma versus Alabama, I can see that happening. That yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. I I completely agree with you on that. But yep, those are our official uh, playoff predictions. Go ahead and give y'all's playoff predictions. I want to hear all about it. Uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, this one's Road been a long thousand. one. This has been a long one. And yes, Road to a Thousand Subscribers. I'll be watching. And uh, yep.